please give a massive welcome to Shane Hunter. Again, it's good to be here. How are you? Great. Great. How are you doing? Yeah, so I was walking on home at 1am the other night and like there was this 30 year old woman just pushing an empty pram down the road and she yelled from across the road at me and she goes, Excuse me, do you know where the last train's coming? I'm like, no, nah, sorry miss, I think they're all finished. And she went, oh, fuck. There are any smokes? I'm like, no, nah, sorry miss, I don't smoke. And she went, oh, fuck. And I was like, uh, miss, do you realise that your pram's empty? And she was like, Oh, fuck! <laughs> and then I realised that she could vote, and I was like, Oh, fuck! <laughs> you know, like, I just, you just kind of wonder what kind of world are we going to have in like 30 years? Do you know what I mean? Like the bees are just dying off in the billions because of all the pesticide, right? And you need that for like all food, all flowers like need bees. Right? you got like birds just like falling out of the skies in the tens of thousands and like scientists don't even know why that's happening. It's like what kind of story am I going to tell my kids? Do you know what I mean? Like here son let me tell you a story about the birds and the bees son. They're, uh, they're all dead son. We killed them all. They're all dead. They're, uh, they're not coming back. <laughs> but yeah no one cares about the environment because you know the average city dwellers closest interaction with mother nature is when they're feeling that dog shit through a plastic bag. Like that's as close <laughs> nature most people get to experience. I don't even give a fuck about the forest, you know? And like, yeah, I mean, I just like, people don't want to think about negative stuff. You know, like, do you ever, this is the thing that really annoys me, is this one, it's like, when, when you like bring up something negative, you're like, hey, didn't a million people die in Iraq? Like, when did we become numb to a million people dying? And they're like, oh, trying to think about it. And like, that terrifies me, because it makes me feel like I'm sitting on a plane, and I'm like looking out the window and the engine's on fire, just like billowing with smoke. And I turn to the person next to me and I'm like, hey, have you ever noticed that the engine's on fire? Have you ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed that? And they're like, oh, I try not to think about that, all right? No, stop being negative. All right, I'm trying to watch the flight movie, okay? I don't need your negativity, all right? I'm trying to watch Mighty Ducks 2 here. I've got something better to do. You know, but yeah, I mean, that's what they say. Ignorance is bliss. You know, like, if you want to be happy, like, like, what's the opposite of ignorance? Like, awareness. Like, awareness is fucking terrifying, right? You know, they say we only use 10% of our brains. Like, if you want to be happy, you need to get that down to about 1%. Right? Like, you shouldn't even know what a percentage is. Like, if you want to be really happy. And, like, that's why it makes sense why so many, like, smart people throughout human history were massive alcoholics, right? Because, like, imagine being a smart person in this world. It would be like having to spend the rest of your life with a bunch of seven-year-olds, you know? Just like, people are always going, Oh, what is going to be MasterChef? Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a minute, buddy. I'm just going to kill off a few brain cells here. I'll be, can't wait to know who wins the final of win-win fucking people know. But yeah, I mean, the level of human denial we are in this terminal phase of, of human extinction is amazing, right? Like, human denial is an interesting thing. Like, what, what a human can be in denial of? Like, there's a thing with a lot of heroin addicts. Uh, um, uh, my mum was a heroin addict. There's a thing where, like, that they're in denial. They'll, they'll shoot up until all their veins and the arteries and their arms are collapsed until the only place they have to left to shoot up is their genitalia. Right? And it's a real thing. And they still don't think they have a problem. It's called dick vein denial. It's a real thing, right? Dick vein denial. Look it up. You know, they'll be shooting out. Go, what are you talking about? I'm just having a little bit of recreational fun on the weekend. What are you... I'm telling you when I need to quit. Right? You know? And like, that's where we are as a species with fossil fuels, right? Like, we're like, we've gotten rid of all like the easy stuff. We're like now going to war over fossil fuels, like we're now poisoning the underground water aquifers, like all the veins and arteries with coal seam gas mining to get like fuels and stuff, and we still don't think we have a problem. Do you know what I mean? Like we're up to our dick vein for fossil fuels, and we're just like, yeah, what are you talking about? GDP's never been higher. <laughs> Climate change is a myth. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like they're never gonna, they're never gonna like do anything about climate change because the bankers are in charge. You know, they get away with fucking everything. You know, like no one seems to like. They, when, when was the last time a banker got hung? You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when's 
that coming back? Do you know what I mean? Because like, you know, they caused the, they caused the global financial crisis, right? They get like a big bailout and like a pat on the back for doing so. And yet they dare attach a chain to their pen at the bank. Like, I'm the fucking criminal. Like, I'm the fucking asshole. Like, I'm the thief. You know, and they get away with this shit because no one understands how money works. Do you know what I mean? Like, who prints the money? Who's in control of that decision making? No one knows. No one even questions it. It's all like how a donkey would never question why the carrot dangling in front of it's not getting closer. <laughs> like, you'll keep on walking for every go, and yeah, man, I'm gonna get that carrot at some point. And you try and tell that donkey, like, hey, man, do you realize there's like a rod and like a string there? And like, the donkey's like, mate. Alright, I don't have fucking time for your conspiracy theory shit, mate. I got a fucking carrots on the table to the this I got bills to pay, shit to do. I don't care who's putting the carrots. No, it's, it's gay people and boat people that's fucking on my day. No, it's not this carrot in front of me. Yeah. You know, like, is this for, like refugees is the problem? You know? It's like, 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 what is the difference between us? and refugees. Like, the only difference is cultural, right? The only difference between us and refugees is they haven't watched season one to five of MasterChef, right? <laughs> and you just can't come in mid-season, mate, right? You just, you just can't come in mid-season. You'd be asking questions going, oh, why did Cheryl get voted out? Oh, I don't know, in the prison. All right, and the kids, all right, yeah. And in the prison, yeah, for no reason. You know? You know, but yeah, like, yeah, and like, like we're bombing, like, people overseas. And like for every like 50 drone strikes, only one of them is an alleged terrorist, right? The other like 49 are civilians. And like we're wonder and we wonder why they're pissed off. Do you know what I mean? Like imagine I put an apple on your head and for every 50 darts I threw at the apple, 49 darts landed in your face, right? You know, and you got angry at me, I would be and if I was like, oh you've got a crazy religion, you're just a fundamentalist, you're just crazy. You don't like a dart, but it's crazy. You know? It's like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're jihadists, yeah, maybe they're a fucking problem, but like, as if, like, if Australia we were being bombed, as if our fucking bogans want to be pissed off, do you know what I mean? It's like, they're jihadists, they're our bogans, right? Like, you fucking go to Bankstown train station and you, like, make eye contact with Darren for more than three seconds, he gets pretty pissed. Imagine how he's got to fill after a drone strike and the only thing he has left of his kid it's like a bit of a rat's tail with a bit of meat on the end of it, right? He'd be pretty fucking pissed off. He'd be like, I can't get child support for this. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, like it's, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't know, like, uh, yeah, I fucking, I, I hate, I hate political parties, to be honest, like, uh, you know, you're like, I just feel like, 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 think about the average politician, do you know what I mean? Like, imagine you're hanging out with friends, you, you light up a joint at a party, and, you know, just, I'd be like, well, you can't do that, that's, marijuana is illegal, you can't, and you'd be like, who the fuck invited this person here, and you'd shun them out of the social situation accordingly, and ignore them. Right, political parties are for people who can't go to real parties, so they invent their own parties to fuck up our parties. Okay? Yeah, like it's not, like, and, and the other thing is like, on the left, there's this like fascination with Tony Abbott. Right, he's not a fucking deity, right? He's, he's not special, right? He's just, it's the system, it's not Tony Abbott, right? It's, it's the system that produces this crap, right? Like at my share house, we had a problem with our toilet. Well, our toilet was broken, and every time we went to flush the toilet, the shit would come flying out of the toilet, right? We weren't standing around there going, oh, well, that poo's really bad, and they got like, fuck the poo t-shirts, and they like, went around hoping, getting a petition, asking people to sign the petition, hoping the next poo to come out would be a little bit better on social services and whatnot. No, we realized the toilet was fucking broken, right? Okay. That's where we're at. The toilet is fucking broken. Alright? You can't have one person represent like 400,000 people, right? Or, or 20 million people. Representative democracy is not democracy, right? That is just, don't even, don't even participate on that. Burn that thing down ASAP if you want human species to survive the next 20 years, right?
I know, and like, yeah, the reason like they, they get away with controlling uh, people is they use the myth of nationalism to brain fuck people into doing whatever they think they're doing in the name of the imagined community of Team Australia, right? And this is what they've been doing for thousands of years, is what the ruling class does is they brain fuck the working class into, into submission. Like in ancient Egypt, the pharaoh brain fucked the workers into thinking the pharaoh was a living god and then whenever that was questioned, right, once that myth was established, people would defend it. Like what I mean is like two workers would have been working on the pyramids and been like, oh uh, yeah mate, um, yeah, I don't, I don't actually think the pharaoh is a living god. Yeah, I've got some doubts about that one actually, now that I've been thinking, right? And the other worker would have been like, mate, alright, okay, let's fucking on Egyptian, alright, if you don't fucking like it. You can fuck off to Mesopotamia, mate, alright? This is how we fucking do shit in Egypt, right? Have some respect. My dad died for that pyramid. Alright? So you can have a job. You know, like, like the pyramids were the original pyramid schemes, is what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, it, it, you know, the other big scam that no one questions, you know, like people get like, oh, what are we gonna save? 15% of blah 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 cuts and blah, 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 blah. No, it's private property, alright? Stop focusing on their fucking narrative and let's make our own narrative. Private property, what the fuck is that as a concept? What, one person can refuse people access to property they don't physically interact with, they didn't fucking build, they're never intending to occupy and use violence to restrict other people from using it, meaning that that person has to sell their labour in order to get a job. Right? So it, it, it fucking generates profit for the capital. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. So you're depriving food and shelter from people in order to make them do unnatural things they don't want to do. Right? Isn't that the same logic as circus animals? Right? Where's the, C, where's the RSCPA on private property? Huh? Where the fuck is the RSPCA on private property? This is animal cruelty. Yeah. Yeah, it's just fucking like, yeah, you just like, yeah, you deprive an animal of food and water and you get it to do unnatural shit like a bear in the circus will run on a, on a fucking bull and just be all in pain. Right, how's that any different from, uh, Mr. Johnson, can you uh, clean up an aisle three there? Right, like, it's, it's fucking animal cruelty, right? That's what private property is. Yeah. The only animal that manages to domesticate itself. But, um, but yeah, you know, like people don't think about these like very fucking obvious issues because like all the distraction culture, like, you know, like think about it in Australia. What is our biggest cultural event in Australia? It's football, right? That is the biggest single gathering of people to have a shared experience is football, right? Let's break down what football is. All right, that's a bunch of drawn adults running over advertisement, wearing advertisement on their shirts tackling each other, giving each other concussions. And a concussion is when you have a bruise in your brain. And when you have a bruise in your brain, that's permanent brain damage, right? So you've got grown adults giving each other brain damage, while well, tens of thousands of people stand around drinking alcohol, which is proven to give you permanent mild brain damage, right? Essentially, our biggest cultural event is a brain damage festival. Just a, yeah, yeah, brain damage, woo! Yeah, brain damage, yeah, that's my team. That my brain damage team, yeah, yeah. You know, everything in our culture just like, yeah, just like, you know, promotes the wrong ideas. Like even everything, like even like stuff like Deal or No Deal. Do you know what I mean? Like that game show, like the idea they dangle like someone's entire livelihood in the form of like money that will change their life forever. Right in front of them, go, oh, I nearly got it. <laughs> oh, you know, like that is fucked up. That is, I can't wait for the episode of Deal or No Deal where the student audience and the contestants team up and they overpower the host and they share the money. I can't wait for that episode of Deal and Idea. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm from Queensland. Uh, yeah, when I first uh, came down to Sydney, you know, people would be like, oh, Queenslander, mate. Queensland, state of origin. <laughs> Fuck, state of origin. I'll be like, what are you talking about? State of origin, mate. Oh, oh, state of origin. Oh, you mean like we're here right now in this moment because energy came from nothing, which condensed into matter, which self-organized into size, which imploded and exploded, created all the elements, which self-organized into this planet, which you know eventually has self-replicating molecules that kept changed their complexity until we got to this moment right now. Oh, state of origin. Yeah, fucking oath, man. Yeah, high five. Yeah. Woo! Right. 
<laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, like, like, I don't know, like, do you, do you ever feel like there's a level of human consciousness that we can't access? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how, like, some animals don't have the intelligence to recognize themselves in the mirror? Like, you put a mirror in a bird's cage, that bird will have, like, that Robert De Niro moment with the mirror, and be like, you fucking talking to me? Hey, you fucking talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. And start pecking the mirror, right, because it doesn't realize that it's its reflection, right? And, you know, from a physics point of view, like, we're all one, like, it's all one big domino effect, the self is an illusion and there's no free will, right? So, like, next time, like, you're out on the street and someone drives by on the ute and they yell something at you, like, faggot, right? I want you to do it. Don't get angry. I just want you to yell back at them and go, yeah, I'm a faggot, all right, because I love you, because we're all one, right? Okay, because he hasn't recognized himself in the cosmic mirror yet, all right? We're all one, ladies and gentlemen. I make videos on YouTube, I'll hand you out my YouTube thing on the way out. Enjoy the rest of your show and support the Green Left uh, support the Green Left Weekly. Thank you very much. Shane Hunter. Please say Shane. Woo!